Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the West Ham Voice. Uh, some team news or, or squad news uh, to bring you. And it's all good news, actually, which makes a nice change. Now that the internationals are over, all our players, bar one, uh, are back at Rush Green uh, in training. Uh, the one that's uh, not back yet is uh, Edson Alvarez, who played for Mexico in the friendly game against uh, Uzbekistan in Atlanta, Georgia, in America uh, last night. I think kickoff was something like about uh, 12.30 at midnight, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. So he's making his way back. Um, but uh, thankfully, he, he's not um, not injured in any way. He was back in the middle of the park. He played in defensive midfield for Mexico and played something like 57 minutes for uh, Mexico and uh, before he got subbed. So he's on his way back. But uh, David Moyes has got a choice to make there as to whether he actually puts him in uh, the starting lineup against Man City or whether he might deem that you know, with the journey back and uh, maybe a bit of jet lag, etc., whether he'll put him on the bench. Now, I think we all know we definitely want him to be, to be a starter, Alvarez. He's been fant in fantastic form for us uh, for West Ham United since he signed. Since he signed, so it's going to be very interesting. Interesting to see what happens with uh, Edson Alvarez. But the good news, uh, the knock that James Ward-Prowse picked up in training last week at Rush Green, he's back in training, which is good. Apparently he missed Monday, but he's back training with the squad uh, today on Wednesday. So he'll be in line in contention for uh, a starting place, as is uh, Vladimir Soufal. Soufal played the first of two games for the Czech Republic uh, in the international break, but he was missing for the second game because he, he also had a knock. But the good news is there, he's back in training as well. So uh, all eyes on what David Moyes does uh, against Man City in terms of uh, team selections on Saturday. But it's fantastic news that we've got all our squad back together. The only slight concern, if you want to even call it that, like I said, is about uh, Edson Alvarez, uh, who's winging his way back from international duty. He's the last person to make it back. Uh, but I would imagine with the, uh, with the form that he's in uh, and the fitness level that this man has portrayed, he'll probably will be in the starting lineup. So it's going to be really interesting to see what Moyes does. I think um, we all know Thomas Socek, after missing uh, the last game against Luton, uh, he's played for the Czech Republic both games. And we all know that Moyes is almost definitely going to pick him, quite possibly as a replacement for Ben Rama. So there's going to be a, a, a different sort of uh, lineup. A lot of people think that uh, we could go with five at the back, maybe four in the middle and one up front. And if so, that means that Mavropanos may also come in as well, who's also been in superb form for Greece in international duty. But that would mean a, a big reshuffle. Can't tell you who he's going to pick at this moment in time. But the, the good news is that all our players are back. Alvarez is the last one to return uh, and I think they'll just check on him with regards to jet lag and stuff like that before making a decision whether he's a starter on Saturday or not. I would imagine he would be. I suppose may, maybe Mohamed Kudish is, might still have to bide his time on the bench. I know a lot of people would rather see him start, but also a lot of people would rather see Mavropanos start and maybe suggesting that uh, he should replace uh, Nye for good, which would be a little bit unfair. But uh, isn't it great to have such a uh, selection dilemma for David Moyes. All eyes on Saturday. I'm sure when there's more news uh, to bring you, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. But in the meantime, have a good afternoon and uh, we'll see you all soon.